Hello, everybody, and welcome to some not really exciting, but still worth discussing, Bionicle Community News. Uh, I am Meso. And I'm LJ. A rare collaborative news video, but I think it uh, I think it warrants it. It's also one of the rare times that we've streamed a news video. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've, done it a, we've done it a handful of times, but it isn't regular normally because we have time to like make these but this is a little fresh and it's important to get all the details out quickly yeah lj would you like to give everyone the breakdown of what has happened sure so yesterday on march 1st lego author greg farshti made an announcement on his personal linkedin where he said after 22 plus years, it looks like my Lego journey may be over. I've been laid off with my last day scheduled for the end of July. No idea what's next. Too soon to think about it. So for anyone in the Bionicle community and the adjacent Hero Factory and Exoforce communities, this is some pretty substantial news because Greg Farshti was a massively influential writer in all of those themes, among others. Like Ninjago. Like Ninjago. So, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a big deal. This has happened. Um, it's a massive paradigm shift. I mean, Greg says it himself. He's been at the company for 22 plus years. He's been involved in so many different themes. He's been involved in shaping the Bionicle franchise, doing all the books and the comics, and just being a part of the community for so many years. It's a, it's a sobering day. Um, not entirely unexpected, by which I mean Lego does not do print media as much as it used to. Um, mm -hmm. Ninjago has been having a bit of a renaissance lately with books and comics, but before that, there's just been nothing for many years. Uh, I believe what Greg's been doing in recent years, serving as the editorial director, was working on the uh, Lego Life uh, app. Is that right, Elge? That's my understanding. It was a Lego Life yeah. app, or it was some kind of offshoot branch of Lego Life. And this is where my ignorance shows, because I don't use Lego Life. So I'm not fully clear what was actually on that app. I think there were some comics, maybe. Some, uh, I'm, I'm you know, not little sure. Pages. Nothing to the scale that there used to be, um, I guess is really the point. Whatever's existed in recent years has been a very downscaled version. So mm -hmm. we're probably never going to be privy to the reasons why Greg's been laid off, but you can reasonably draw your own conclusions. Um, print media and stuff, it isn't as big of a, a feature of Lego as uh, it used to be. So we're, of course, we're sad for Greg, um, but we hope that whatever he moves on to in the future is very successful for him. He's uh, been posting some recent things on the TTV message boards about a new story idea he's working on. So clearly he hasn't lost his passion for writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, no. Whatever he does, I'm sure we'll all follow. Yeah. And for anyone that's interested in that story, uh, last month, I believe, he posted the beginning, or actually in January, he posted the beginnings of a new story. It's not Bionicle. It's not even Lego. It is his own personal writing. It's on the TTV message boards, board.ttvchannel.com. It's an Ask Greg category. It's called New Story, Any Interest. I'll go ahead and post it right here in the live comments, and we'll go ahead and have it in the description below as well. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a hint, you know. I'm sure he's going to be working on things in the future, and hopefully if he shares it with all of us, we'll follow it and support him where we can. Because mm -hmm. the dude's very talented. Yep. Um, naturally... You might wonder, you know, what does this mean for the Bionicle community? Uh, a lot. A lot more than we can discuss in a breaking news video, which is why one hour from now at 6.30 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be holding the Knack and J, where we're going to be doing a full detailed breakdown of what all this means, what's going to happen, what's not going to happen, etc., uh, the short version TLDR for those of you who are just here for the facts is that the canon contests that we've been doing for the last two years, uh, they are going to come to a close. We will not be doing those anymore uh, as a result of this for the sole reason that Greg's not employed at Lego anymore. 
And uh, the whole premise of the Canon contests was that as a Lego employee, he had the rights to certify the, uh, the results and certify the winners with some degree of authority. And without that authority, the whole thing falls apart at the seams. Mm -hmm. So if they were to be continued, it, just, it wouldn't be the same, basically. Yeah. So, you know, that's really the long and short of it. There's a lot more to discuss, but... Oh yeah. For the pressing question on everybody's minds, you know, will they be continuing? Um, no, because they can't be. <laughs> yeah. Just functionally <laughs> they fun. they don't work because Greg will not be part of it cuz he had unilateral ability to make any changes to the Bionicle Generation 1 story and that was given to him by Lego as a member of Lego when Bionicle G1 ended. He had full unilateral reigns. So, like, when it came to seeking permission for things to canonize for the story, it was just him. And with him on the way out, departing from LEGO, no one like that exists anymore. There's no one to canonize anything in the G1 story. So, Yeah. Um, so, if you are one of the people who's been following those with a rapt attention, I'd encourage you to come back in an hour. We're going to be doing all the whys and the, the intricacies of it all, but that is how it is mm -hmm. no more contests at least no more canon contests um yeah. this is just how it is ultimately what you should all do right now if you feel inspired to do anything um you know go post leave greg a nice message of support you know we should all be rallying behind him and showing him that we'll we'll still follow whatever he does go leave a nice comment on his story if you want to I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know. We'll see you in an hour. We'll talk about this more in detail. Anything else you want to say, Eld? No, just Greg, if you listen to this, thank you. Yeah, It's been awesome getting to talk with you, getting to work with you, and getting to grow up with your writing. So hopefully whatever yep. the future has in store for you, you share it with us. That'd be awesome. Pretty much, and... No one can say you didn't leave a legacy, you know, 22 years and thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people affected and inspired. It's a, it's a career worth celebrating, and I look forward to whatever you do next. Yep. So that's basically it. All right. We'll see you guys shortly for uh, the Mac and Jay. Farewell. Bye.